Hi, my name is Imran and I'm a senior data scientist at Consolium. Today we are going to use YOLO v5 for the object detection. First of all, we will clone the GitHub repo of YOLO v5. So first we will get the link of YOLO v5. So here is the repo. We will simply get this link and we will clone here. After cloning the repo, we can see YOLO v5 here. To check the list, we can see that where we are now. We are here in sample data and YOLO folder here. But we wanted to go inside the YOLO v5. So we can go over there. So now we are inside the YOLO v5. And here we can see the requirements in the requirements there are a lot of libraries which we need to install but we can't install one by one simply we can call pip install qr requirements so this way we can install it So all the libraries are installed now and now we need to import some libraries. The one is import torch and the second one we wanted to use import. So utils will be used uh, for displaying the results and torch will be used to train the model. To display the results we can call utils. So now it's time to train the model. To train the model, we will be using train.py here. And we will set some parameters to train the model like we will be saying that. So the image size will be 640 and the batch will be uh, like we can say 20 and uh, we can set the number of epochs here we can use like four epochs and also we need to feed the data and we are going to use coco data set we can also use our own custom data but to use the custom data first we need to label the data to label the data we can use different tools like I am label, RoboFlow and there are a lot of other tools where we can label the images and after labeling the images we can simply save those all annotations and then we can upload those images and with the annotations okay and then we need to set the weights so the weights are YOLO v5s.pt So what is S here? S is the version because in YOLO v5 they are going to give us different versions. The one is nano which is very small model and then small then medium large and extra large. So these models are differentiated with their weight and with their speed so small is a quick and fast so that is why we are going to train this small model of yolo v5 and then simply we can set the cache so our result will be saved here so let's train the model it's yam all
we can see that the first epoch is going to start training all right so our model is trained now there is a tip here so if you wanted to train your model quickly you can go over runtime you can change the runtime order so i have already selected gpu so if there will be none you can select gpu here because by using gpu you can train your model quickly and fast okay so after training the model we can check the performance of our model so here we can call detect.py detect.py okay and we can feed any image and we can get the results so we can call python detect dot pi and then we need to set the parameters like which weights we wanted to use the same weights which we saved previously 5s and then what will be the size of image that was 640 and configurations and we will set the configuration as a threshold we, we can say that if there will be threshold above than 30 then we are going to consider the object okay and then we need to set the source and the source like in the data in the images we have already some images but we can bleed them and we can use any other image like i can use some other images by, by browsing so i can upload this image okay and i can see that source source will be data images So here is the list that there are three persons, two bottles, three wine glass, there is fork, knife, chair, but we wanted to see that how it is detecting to check that we can call the display function we that we initialize in the start. So display dot image and then file name and we can go inside the runs detect experiment and then we can call this image so you can see that there is a person here is another person and there are the glass bottle wine glass wine glass here is a cup so the model is perfectly working on it but you can see that that is not a cup but it is considering as a cup so if we wanted to get more good results then we can train on the more epochs okay so we can get the better results that's it. I hope you learned some of the things and it is very basic way to, to call the object detection model which is YOLO V5 and then you can train the model and you can get the detection on your data. And that is very important if you wanted to train on a custom data simply you can use any image labeler and then you can annotate the images and you can save those images into a YOLO format and you can give the source to the data instead of COCO data and then simply you can use the same way and you can train your model on your custom data and you can get the results on your data like if you wanted to detect only animals so you can you can use the animals data and you can train on it and you can get the results i hope you learn the skills and how to use the yolo v5 model for the object detection please 
like subscribe my channel so that i will be motivated